Lil Pump's career is over and sentenced to life. Do you want to win any of these items on your screen? If so, be sure to watch the whole video, leave a like, and comment the hidden message. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. It's been noted by many that the rapper known as Lil Pump is one of the best young talents out there, and his success in the rap world is because of his talents. But he's also one of the most controversial rappers with a history of issues with the law and others, and that almost definitely cost him in the end. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 5. Too Harsh A Judgment Sorry, and I apologize for posting that. It was not my intentions to hurt nobody. Or do none of that. Obviously, doing a video about the ending of a career of a person, especially one whose career has not technically ended yet, is kind of odd. But here's the thing. While Lil Pump has a career, it's still one that is on a clock. Not because his music isn't selling per se, or that he's facing an imminent crisis like Jail Time, which certain other rappers are, but rather this is a singer who has acted out so much in recent years that you kind of see the writing on the wall. He hasn't just had one brush in with the law, he's had several. That's not my bag! He hasn't just made one controversial song, he's made many, and paid the price for it many times. Love Bob has been criticized by many for a variety of reasons, and yet he either says he's sorry and does nothing to fix what he did per se in terms of truly being sorry and not just saying it, or he'll ignore it until he has to do something about it. Despite the stereotype out there, just because you're a rapper doesn't mean that you need to be controversial or have problems with the law. And yet, Lil Pump seems to have no qualms about crossing those lines. Which is why we're saying that he's in serious trouble of getting his career thrown away, or worse, throwing his own life away. Which is tragic for numerous reasons, but mainly because when it came to his life, he should have been more grateful to get out of the position that he was in. Number 4. His Early Life Lil Pump grew up in Florida and his parents got divorced at a very young age. Because of this, he acted out quite a bit. This resulted in him getting kicked out of many schools, which obviously didn't help in his disposition in life. Eventually, though, he met a guy named Smoke Perp, who was a rapper. Smoke Perp would then start him down a path that would lead to where he is right now in terms of his music career, meaning that he got Lil Pump into music. This all began in 2015. Smoke Perp asked Lil Pump to freestyle for him on a track he was making. The track was then put onto SoundCloud, and it got millions of hits. And Lil Pump started cranking out music after that because he got bit by the music bug. In 2017, he released his most famous song, Gucci Gang, and that got him the attention he needed to truly become a name in the industry. One of the biggest highlights of his young career by far was getting a contract from Warner Brother Records, and it wasn't a small contract either. He got $8 million for signing with them. As I said, it wasn't a small contract, and it's just the first one he's ever officially signed, as he's still with Warner Brother Records to this day. Through his new deal with Warner Brothers, Lil Pump has released many albums and singles, as well as teaming up with various other rappers and artists. His work with rappers include Chief Keef, Kanye West, Louis Vert, and many more, all the while proving his rap skills and abilities to those who would listen. Why does his upbringing into the rap world influence him soon getting out of it? Simple, because instead of being grateful for all that he has, instead of pushing things forward in the right way, the fair way, the good way, he's arrogant, he's greedy, and he likes to tick off people. Plus, he's not exactly good with his money. <laughs> <laughs> he buys things constantly and even buys things on dares. And if you try to mess with him, he will respond, even if the disses are well-deserved, and trust me, they are. You'd think that after all of the things he's gone through in his life, he would then be a bit more grateful. Instead, he's a jerk, and just about everyone knows it, including possibly even himself. Number three, taking his own life. As I noted, Lil Pump isn't the nicest guy around. He's like many other young rappers that are desperate to show off their credibility in terms of toughness and are willing to say or do just about anything to show how hardcore they are. But that does weigh on the mind. And in 2019, Lil Pump started to show some cracks in his mind. On March 30th, Lil Pump made two posts that dealt on with passing on. And not in a good way. Not feeling good right now. I don't know if I want to keep on doing any of this. He wrote in the first message. The second post was even more concerning. I feel like I'm gonna die soon and all this will be over. To be fair, these were post made on Instagram, and they were deleted soon after. However, they were still seen, and many were concerned about what it truly meant. Was he thinking about taking his own life? Was this a focus on more of his career, and what he could or couldn't do anymore? Or was he just desperate to move on? No one really knows, and if you ask him now, he'll probably surely laugh it off. And just as interesting as the post, though, was the fans' responses to Lil Pump. And while some were encouraging, some were sadly not. Can't believe Lil Pump posted a suicide post, and so many people are encouraging him to do it. Oh, someone is checking on him, and he gets help. Never reached out like this before, but shout out to Lil Pump. I heard what you're going through. You've got a good head on your shoulders. Don't let it be clouded and distracted. Wish you the best. Retweet.
Y'all pray for Lil Pump. There are too many people crying out for help in this past decade. And I used to be insensitive because for some of us, it's like no matter what, we trying to push forward and never receive help when needed, but I know we're strong to help our fellow humans. Depression is real. Money and fame certainly does not guarantee happiness. Praying for you. There's some real truth and logic in there, not that Lil Pump is noticing. True, he didn't take his life, nor has he quit making music, but as erratic as Lil Pump can be sometimes, he's never really posted anything like that before. So why then? What was he feeling that made him post not one, but two Instagram stories of this nature? There are many ways to end one's career, and doing it by your own hand is certainly one way of getting it done. But then again, Lil Pump also has a way of putting his fate into the hands of others. Number two, the many arrests of Lil Pump. So I'm, in, I'm on probation in LA, I just violated my PO, so I gotta go in and do a couple months. There's a lot of terrible stereotypes about rappers, but the most popular one is that they're always in trouble with the law. And yet, a lot of them honestly don't get in trouble with the law too often. However, when it comes to Lil Pump, yeah, he gets in trouble a lot. Since starting in February 2018, he discharged a firearm in a place that had people in it. According to Lil Pump's manager, some people had tried to break into his home and he opened fire on them as a result, which would have classified as self-defense. But instead of just being straight with the cops, Lil Pump actually hid the weapon, making it so the police had to search for it. When they found out that his mother was the real owner of the fire, arm, which means that it was laying about where Lil Pump could easily just get, casting even more suspicion on what really happened in that house. Either way, this was a really bad look for Lil Pump, and all sorts of accusations were thrown at him. But he was only put on probation. The question, of course, is, did he learn his lesson from the event? Do I really need to answer that? <laughs> because after getting his license revoked, he went out driving and got pulled over by a cop. Since he was on probation and driving without a license is really bad, he was not only arrested, but actually did jail time. Not a lot, but enough. So he learned at last to stay on the straight and narrow, right? Well, fast forward to December of 2018, he was then arrested twice in two different countries. First in the US for refusing to let his bags be searched for illegal substances, and when he wouldn't let them, he got more and more loud and animated and eventually was detained at the airport. Then in December of 2018, Lil Pump was arrested in Denmark. He brought with him an illegal substance into the country and then was arrested for possession. Now the crime for having the substance in Denmark wasn't that bad actually. He was only detained so he could be taken to the station to pay a fine. All things considered, not the worst thing to happen. But instead of just taking the lick and moving on to the concert he was supposed to be going to, he decided to do a live stream from the back of the police car. No, I'm, I'm not kidding. During that stream, he decided to go and insult the cops while they weren't paying attention. And when the cops noticed what he was doing, and they also noticed him flipping them off, which led him to getting arrested again. In terms of the punishment, Lil Pump did have to go and pay a fine for the substance, and it was only about $800. But the other charges punishment was far worse. Lil Pump isn't allowed to go back to Denmark for two years. I want you to picture yourself doing something so bad that you get kicked out of a country. Can you even think of something that that would actually cost that. You would likely think that this would set you straight because you would get a lot of backlash for this action, right? Except Lil Pump still didn't listen to what was obvious. A great example of this was his recent track, Butterfly Doors, where he used a racial slur in both the track for the piece and the music video. You might be able to excuse the lyrics, but to do a slur visually in a music video, that's really not smart. And proof that he doesn't care what he says or does as long as he thinks it's cool, which is perfect because he got a lot of backlash from a lot of people. Some even went out of their way to make diss tracks to insult him for what he did because of how how insensitive it was. To be fair, the backlash was so great that he honestly did edit the song and music video so that it didn't have that slur anymore. But that doesn't excuse that it even happened in the first place. And as I noted before, that was just one of many controversial tracks that he's made in his day. He's become basically infamous because of how shameless he is in regards to what he does and what he sings about. Lil Pump honestly has impulse control issues and he definitely doesn't know how to stop himself. And so if he continues down this path, he could be ending up in a cell in prison or out of his contract deal because what if Warner Brother decides not to deal with him? Or Course, his life could be taken from him. And while I'm sure some of you would be fine with the idea of Lil Pump not being in music anymore, I hope that we can all agree that this hopefully won't end with his life being snuffed out. There's a fine line between genius and insanity, but there's also a fine line between portraying one thing and being that thing. And just because you say one thing doesn't mean that you are that one thing. But for Lil Pump, he wants his image and personality to be the same thing. And that's why he looks the way he does and sounds the way he does and so on and so forth. He doesn't want to change for the better because he thinks it will hurt his own career, even though he's already doing that finally on his own. Number one, his fate is sealed. So here we are, in the place where we started this video, asking if we were too harsh on Lil Pump for thinking that his career or his life will soon be ended by his own hands. But I think by this point, you'll understand that when it comes to Lil Pump, nothing is really out of the question because he does stupid things just for the sake of 
up doing stupid things. And it'll definitely cost him in the end. Sure, right now he's got a lot going for him. A new album release. He's apparently the face of a new business, which is selling legal cannabis. Did you not? He's also got things going on. But he's also still making dumb decisions like spending $500,000 at a jewelry store in Atlanta. I mean, really, if he keeps on spending money like that, he'll find out the hard way that money doesn't just keep on coming. It has a limit. He's not a smart guy, and he seems to be getting more and more arrogant with each passing day. He also gets even more outrageous, more controversial, and even more fueled by his own thoughts and goals than what is right and true. Usually, this would be the part where someone would talk about a support system that a person has and how their duty and their responsibility is to try and make the person feel safe and better. But can you honestly tell me one person who is in Lil Pump's circle that isn't very much like him? I can't really think of anyone. Can you? <laughs> well, that's not to say he doesn't have good and decent people in this world, but it's also fair to say that Lil Pump would rather spend time with people like himself. So is Lil Pump doomed? It's hard to say. His actions speak much louder than his very loud words. And so he plays it cool, but he's just a human like the rest of us, and we all have our limits. It's just a question of when Lil Pump will reach his, and which limit will he collapse from first. And when he does collapse from that limit, and there's very little doubt that he will, the question will become not why he felt like this, as to more of why didn't he see the signs and stop himself. And so there you have it, a breakdown of the life and promise of Lil Pump. Do you think that his path is clear, that'll lead him to being gone for the rap industry and possibly gone for life? Or do you think that he'd be able to bounce back in a big way? Also, what do you think his future truly is? Let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time on King Trending. A simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's really your choice. So be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Go for it.